take off my iPad. Hello you guys, happy new year! I cannot believe it is already 2022, new year, new me, eh, I'm kidding, kinda. I can't help it, I get inspired by the new year and I know a lot of you guys too. So it's Sunday, it's that perfect kind of reset with me kind of vibe. And I'm doing laundry, I'm cleaning my apartment, I've got the ice roller on my face. This is from Amazon, I will link below by the way. This has truly changed the game. I've also got some eye patches on, nothing's changed. This vlog is just gonna be a compilation of kind of getting my life together and kind of starting 2022 on the right foot. Um, my word for this year, I decided, is going to be wellness both mental and physical. And I don't mean just like working out. Yes, I wanna get back into my workout grind. I've talked about this a lot, kind of my struggles with getting back into working out. Um, and I'll expand more on that as the next few weeks go by as I start to try and get on my journey again. But also just like mentally. I've dealt with some pretty bad anxiety the last few years and it's kind of new to me. Um, and trying to figure that all out and what's best for my mental health. Um, so just taking more time for myself and adding some new practices into my life um, and I'll be showing you guys some of those things throughout this vlog. I think this is just gonna be like a couple days. I don't really know. We're just gonna see. We're just gonna vlog. But I love you guys and I'm so happy you enjoyed Vlogmas and I hope you all had an amazing new year. I hope you're all doing amazing. You're healthy. You're happy. You're safe. Everything's well and I love you guys so much. Um, I'm just like holding this like my microphone. Hey, what's up? But yeah, so welcome back to my channel. Subscribe if you guys are new here. I'm Danielle if you're new. I live in New York City and I'm taking you guys along with, like I said, today's Sunday. We're just chilling around the apartment, cleaning, doing laundry, that kind of stuff. I'm just gonna sit here and listen to my 5-2-HC um, frequency. It's healing music. It's one of my things, my new things for 2022. I love listening to frequencies. They truly elevate my vibe. I'm sorry, I know a lot of you guys are tired of me saying the word vibe, but it's just part of my dictionary, okay? But they just really, they're just very healing and they're very relaxing for me. It's not for everyone, but I've been really into, cause they're like 10 hours long on Spotify too. So I'm just listening to that, sitting here, looking out at the Freedom Tower, just taking deep breaths. I put essential oils under my nose and just really relaxing. And you don't have to always be so overstimulated all the time. And, that's something I'm learning. I'll update you guys in a little bit, just waiting for some laundry to be done. I feel like I want ramen tonight for dinner, that sounds lovely. For lunch, we're having this salad with some Italian dressing. I don't like salad dressing, except for like Italian dressing and like a vinaigrette, so. Yum. Just ordered myself some green juices and ginger shots from Pressed. I think I'm gonna start, I did this in college, I think I'm gonna start ordering them like every Sunday night to have for the week because that just feels right. So I don't do this a lot of my vlogs, but I have to do a PR haul for you guys. The company Zit Sticka, I love that name, sent me out of the blue this huge bag situation, which also would be great for storage, um, of skincare goods, and in specific, healthy winter skin at your doorstep. I am like not well. I'm really into skincare right now, as you guys know. The eye patches, the masks, the serums, the rollers, everything. And this all is in here, and I thought it'd be fun to do a haul. I don't know. I don't always do this. I usually do this stuff on my Instagram stories, but I started to open it, and I was like, nope, nope, we're doing it on my vlog. The first thing I saw, I literally use this every day. It's the Sunday Riley CEO Glow Serum. I am running out of my other one because I literally use it every day. It smells amazing. It feels so good on your skin. This is the Coco Kind AHA Jelly Cleanser. This sounds delightful. Like cleaning your skin with jelly sounds fun. This is the Mega Shade Sunscreen Serum. Oh, that's really cool. And this is by Zip Sticka. This looks awesome. Like if you want to have some sunscreen on your face but you want that glowy look. I feel like this is perfect. Ooh, this is the Tower 28 Shimmer Free Highlight Balm. That is so cool. So it's not makeup, it's just like to add to your cheekbones. If maybe if you're not wearing makeup and you want a little glow on your cheekbones, that is so genius, wow. Tan Lux The Gradual, this stuff is amazing. I have this, it's um, Gradual Self Tan. The Hair Tie. These are the hair ties to have, apparently. Oh yeah, these always feel so good on your hair. I needed a new um, nude hair tie to like 
I've been putting my hair up a lot more, so these are good. Oh my gosh, I've heard such amazing things about First Aid Beauty recently. This, this makes sense. This will be good for the winter. It's like an intense, hydrating moisturizer. The Micro Dart Patch for the Deep Newfound Zit. Oh, we know those. Oh my god, how cool. This is such like a chic box. Herbivore Pink Cloud Soft Moisture Cream. I'm about to get a skin fridge. I'm like this close to getting one. I just don't know where I'm going to put it. So that's why I haven't gotten it yet. I've put a couple things in my actual fridge. Um, oh wow, this is beautiful packaging. I've seen this brand before. Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I'm always needing new face primer, so that is, ooh, this looks fantastic. I think it's by the brand Make. Oh my gosh, that feels fabulous on your lips. Naturam Phyto Glow Lip Balm. We love some glowy lip balm. Can't go wrong with that. This is the Youth to the People Super Berry Dream Cleansing Balm. Oh, I love cleansing balms. It's so fun to just like melt your makeup away. Whoa, this is an eye and cheek mask by the brand Super Egg Hatched in New York City. This is how it looks on your face. I like that. Ooh, Press Refresh Hydrogel Exfoliating Sheet Mask. So yeah, I'm gonna put all these products away. I just talked to Ryan. I think we're gonna go get ramen. I've been craving ramen. So, and he doesn't wanna go, but I always wanna go to this one place, Ivan Ramen. It's so good, it's in the Lower East Side. And he's such a, and I get it, I should be this way too. In New York City, he's like, Danielle, there are so many ramen restaurants, why don't we try another one? And I'm like, but I like that one and I know I'm gonna like it. So we're gonna go to another one called Marafuku, which actually, I don't know if he realizes this, but we have had it on Uber Eats, but we've never been in person. Looks like a good vibe. So I think we're gonna actually go there for dinner tonight. They literally delivered six green juices. So I get the one with apple, cucumber, celery, lemon, spinach, ginger, kale, and parsley, and then six Ginger shots, we love it. And they're cute little bottles too. Mmm, this looks so good. Oh, that's so good. All right, I just did a little prepping for the podcast tomorrow. About to head over to get some ramen. Cheers, a little ginger shot. I realize I haven't taken one today. I have not had a ginger shot today, I know. So this is, I present to you, the first ginger shot of the new year. Cheers, you guys. Woo! That feels great. <laughs> Ginger, lemon, and cayenne. <laughs> Wearing this green sweat set from Zara. I love it. The color is perfect. Puffer is Aritzia Super Puff. I'm wearing some high socks and then these Hoka sneakers that I got for Christmas. And they're so comfortable. I can't take them off. They're literally so comfortable. So let's go get some ramen. <laughs> Just got back, we had lovely ramen. I have a little, I guess this isn't a Christmas scape anymore, it's just like a winter scape on YouTube. I literally will just put fireplace and pick one. But this one, I mean the detail with the cups, love that. It actually made me literally get on my feet right now. I'm about to make some hot cocoa. I was craving something sweet and then I remembered that I have these hot cocoa Keurig cups. This is so cozy. Hi guys, so it's a little bit later now. It's a lot later now. I'm about to head into bed, but um, I just brushed my teeth. I used a Bruch toothbrush. They're my absolute favorite. I'm gonna try this Elemis Superfood Midnight Facial. Love a midnight facial. It is 11.30, so it's almost midnight. And uh, I love putting stuff like any sort of night cream, sleeping cream, sleeping mask, anything like that, when it's working at night, it just makes me feel happy and good. And I love just putting on super moisturizing products on before I head to bed. This um, Phyto Glow Lip Balm from Naturium is actually really good. It does make your lips look super glowy. And that's pretty much it. Um, I just brushed my hair. We're doing our first video component of Gals on the Go tomorrow. Really nervous. It's gonna be a rough draft for sure, but it'll be good. I'm charging my Kindle, you guys. Things are happening. 2022 inspired me. My water right there. What's on my nightstand, you may ask? We have my water, my crystal to heal me as I sleep. 
um, this remote that controls the lights. Typically when I'm going to bed, I like to change it to red. Um, apparently the red light um, allows you to release melatonin and make you more sleepy. Um, and I definitely, it's just so relaxing. I also always have this essential oil by doTERRA breathe essential oil really anything that has eucalyptus and then this is one of the things I was talking about earlier that I got um, to hopefully promote more wellness in my life and um, just relaxation in general um, I've noticed when I wake up in the morning actually I'll, I'll turn the white lights on really quick this is not sponsored but this is the hatch alarm or it's called hatch restore I believe and so I'll tap this. I've set like a night routine on my app already. So I have these different um, routines that I have. So I have a nighttime routine. So when I tap the top of that, a certain light that I picked, there's different light options here um, that kind of give off. So the nighttime lights look like this. The daytime ones look like this. You know, a red at night, but obviously I have these. So I'll usually do... Um, I don't know something just more relaxing like orange or something like okay I'm going to bed and then you also match it with a sound so um, you can have it set where it's you know the same one every night but I feel like it just depends I like music and since I'm gonna be reading I want something instrumental um, and I want something kind of long so I'm gonna do sunset say goodbye to a long day as you wind down and de-stress so, I have orange light and the sunset on. So, I'm about to hop into bed and do some reading. I have some books downloaded on here, or I kind of want to read November 9th. I have so many books I want to read, and it's like, you got to finish one. I'm a big Colleen Hoover girl. I'm going to head to bed. I've said that a thousand times. Ah, oh, the vibes in here are so it. I've got my flannel PJs on. They're from the brand Lunya, L-U-N-Y-A. I will see you guys in the morning. The only way I've been able to take my supplements is I got this really chic little pill box from Nordstrom. I love it. It has a mirror. How funny. Um, so I put all my supplements here. I take um, all just different supplements that my doctors told me to take and just stuff that I wanted to take. Um, the only ones that don't fit in here, I do have to take I have to, I don't have to. I take three of these well bells a day for my hair, skin, and nails. And uh, they, they don't fit, unfortunately. So um, I'm about to take all my supplements. I thought I'd show you because it's so hard to just like wake up in the morning, you take out all your supplements, and you're like, how do I take this? One of the things I wanted to be better about this year was taking my supplements consistently because that's the only way you're going to actually benefit from it. So and here I am taking my supplements with a grain juice. We love that. That feels great. No, I'm kidding. That's ginger shots. Good morning, you guys. It is Monday morning. We are starting off the week by heading to the Gals on the Go office. Brooke and I are reuniting back on the podcast. I'm so excited to just catch up with her. And we are doing our first go around of the video component. So go subscribe to the Gals on the Go podcast YouTube channel. If you aren't already, we're going to be posting our podcast on there, which is so crazy. Video format. So that's why I'm all dressed up. I'm very bundled up also though because it is quite cold out there. Expected to snow. I keep looking out my window like is it gonna snow? It still hasn't. So I got this coat for Christmas and I'm sorry I didn't do what I got for Christmas. I didn't do one last year either. It's just like I'm getting older. It just didn't, it felt a little insensitive honestly to post it and I you know I got a lot of DMs from you guys which is so sweet but 
I don't know. It just felt like that era was kind of over for me. Um, we'll see. Maybe next year. I don't really know. But um, I did get this coat for Christmas. Um, I'm obsessed with it. It's just like a long puffer. It has a belt too. Um, so I'm wearing this pink turtleneck I got forever ago from Topshop, I believe. It's so amazing. I thought it was good for gals on the go. And then these pants are from Revolve. They're like kind of like those other ones I have from Revolve. But they're more like leggings. They're more casual. Should I leave this down? Maybe. Actually, I kind of like it untucked. And I want to be comfortable sitting on the couch recording. Gals on the couch. I love it. Um, so yeah, these are from Revolve. And then I'm just wearing high socks to stay warm and white Air Force Ones. Um, but yeah, we're doing an episode all about our goals for the new year. Our, we're revealing our word for the new year, which you guys already know. But the podcast is up by the time this video is up. We're gonna head to the office. I'm gonna go meet up with Brooke. I'm so excited to see her. And I think um, since it's around lunchtime, we thought it'd be good to catch up anyways. So I think we're gonna like walk to Chipotle, get some Chipotle, bring it to the office, catch up, and then record. So big gals on the go day. You guys know the drill, it's Monday. Um, Let's do it! We're back at New York City, baby! Get the crowd going. About to take a ginger shot. Ah, the crowd was ah. wild. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't bring you one. I didn't even think. Oh about no, it. no, please, please. No, 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 no. When I had COVID, I ordered ginger, ginger shots. I didn't tell you. Yeah. Oh my god, good for you. Yeah, I did. Cheers. Ooh, like a champ. That feels great. <laughs> nice job, buddy. guys i just got back we had a semi-successful recording for gals on the go um the cameras like started dying as we were going but we had the one main one we knew today was gonna be a rough start but we said we were starting the first week of january so we wanted to do it we're gonna learn along the way the process yeah and i actually got semi-deep and opened up about some stuff that i've literally never talked about um so definitely go listen to that podcast. I don't know. I guess I feel like really, really comfortable on the podcast. It's just things start to flow out. Um, so definitely like after doing that, I'm going to talk about it more on my YouTube channel. But I just got back. I'm just tidying up around around the house, around the apartment. Um, and it's about 6 o'clock now. Ryan's about to come over. And we're going to, we love cooking together. So he's bringing over mashed potatoes, broccoli, and chicken. So that's going to be tonight's meal we're going to cook. And we're also gonna book a trip. He just called me, I'm like freaking out. So if you guys follow college football, if you went to Georgia, you go to Georgia, you know the vibes. Georgia's going to the national championship on New Year's Eve. We played, we literally watched it right here. They won, I was so happy we beat Michigan. So sorry for all the Michigan fans. And we once again have a rematch against Alabama this um, coming Monday in Indianapolis and it's always been a dream of Ryan and I is to go to the national championship obviously and you know when Georgia does go and Ryan just called me and he was like do you want to go to the national championship and I was like yeah I mean why wouldn't I want to go his boss got us tickets his boss is literally so generous I I am so beyond thankful I'm like we need to get him the most outlandish gift ever Ryan and his boss have this connection about Georgia because they both went so they've always had this bond and the fact that he also got me a ticket is sincerely so so kind i'm i'm so grateful um so it's kind of all of a sudden um but the national championships in indianapolis a monday this coming monday like i said so he's gonna come over and make dinner figure out you know the flight situation we'd literally go maybe sunday night or even monday morning for the game and then leave on Tuesday. So nuts, I'm so, I cannot believe we're going to the national championship. Oh, I'm so thankful. It's so fun, cause like, <laughs> we were joking, cause like I, you know, bring Ryan on trips and stuff. So it's really cool when like, it's the opposite. So I was like, hey, I'm your plus one. Like, <laughs> uh, so I just couldn't hide that joy. I'm very, very excited. And I'm definitely truly into football and I feel so grateful. Yeah, I gotta get a game day outfit. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be cold there. 
Guys, look at Ryan's outfit. He just walked in looking so handsome and New Yorky. Yep, all black. That's all black, all bundled. The beanie instead of the Santa hat. They haven't <laughs> seen you since the new year. Yeah. Happy Hello, New Year. Everyone. Happy New Year. Go dogs. I just told them the news you gave me. Oh yeah, we're going. Ah, so excited. It's so happy. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. So we have to plan that and cook. He just brought, we're doing, did you get steak? Yeah, I got steak and chicken. We're doing steak. You got steak and chicken? Yeah. Oh, exciting. So yeah, I just had to show them your outfit. <laughs> Look at this just fine dining right here. We're eating lavish tonight, sir. Bon appetit. Hey you guys, it's a lot later. It's about 11.30, I'm getting very sleepy. Um, Ryan left a little bit ago and um, I was, I'm just feeling really inspired after Brooke and I's podcast today talking about our goals. Um, and something I've just been itching to do and you guys should go listen to that episode if you haven't already Where I talk about all my goals for the new year, but I've been itching to getting back to dance. I grew up dancing my whole life um, sh Mainly hip-hop actually I my first dance class I ever took was hip-hop um, And then once I joined our like hip-hop street team they required us to take um, ballet and lyrical. Um, I was on point for a little bit. Fun fact about me. Um, yeah, dance was a really, really big part of my life for a very long time. And then I kind of stopped in high school because I was like, I was dedicating a lot of time. My whole weekends were revolved around dance. I didn't do competitions necessarily. It was more so performances, which was really fun. I opened up for um, a couple different concerts with my hip hop dance team. Um, one being Jingle Ball in Tampa was seriously one of the coolest experiences I've ever done. Me and five other girls. That actually wasn't even the hip hop team. We just had auditions at our studio um to do that and i some i will never forget when i got that call like to open up for jingle ball in front of a whole arena like that was nuts i oh my god that was the coolest experience they could have ever given me and then i did hip-hop a little bit more in college i joined a dance studio there and i joined the dance team or i was on the hip-hop team for a little bit in athens and i also was the captain of my like sororities hip-hop dance team one year and also was on it um so yeah and now i'm like i just miss it so much like whenever i'm just dancing with friends or i've got music on it seriously just puts me in the best mood and i'm kind of looking for a gateway if you will into working out again and i just feel like going to a dance class that's you know cardio driven will kind of get my juices flowing again and just get those endorphins pumping and releasing serotonin and I just want to have some fun and dance. So I've been sitting here, my eyes hurt so bad. I put my blue light glasses on because I was like, oh my gosh. Researching a ton of hip hop studios. So I just signed up for a class tomorrow at Brick House NYC. I have a couple studios that I want to try out. I'm not like sticking to this one. I mean, if I love it, I'll definitely go back, but I'm not like sticking to this. Um, I found this choreographer. I stalked her on Instagram. I really liked her choreography style we'll see but i'm so excited it's at 4 30 tomorrow i'm literally going tomorrow i can't believe it i just i just i just do things like this i'm like yeah but like i was there was other classes at the end of the week and i was like no i want to go tomorrow like let's get this on so i'm nervous but i'm so excited and i just thought i'd share that with you guys so yeah i am about to head to bed and i'm actually going to start a whole new vlog tomorrow but i wanted to vlog a couple days just so i could get something up for you guys i'm gonna go to bed i love you guys so much i can't wait for even more videos this year and you know just having those little wins of like okay i booked myself a dance class for tomorrow you know i'm, I'm so pumped um so yeah, I love you guys. Subscribe if you guys are new here. My eyes are literally closing. I'm so tired. And I will see you guys this Sunday for my next video. Bye guys.